Hello, welcome back to Mastering Pivot Tables in Excel to analyze the data quickly. I am your coach Vinay Prakash. In this video, we are going to look at how to create a new calculation, a new computed item or a calculated item. How do we edit these and what are the uses of creating a computed column inside a pivot table. To begin, I have opened the working with pivot tables Excel file. This is the data we had used earlier. I'm going to create a quick pivot table and maybe select the position and the salary. So we have base data, simple pivot table, but the thing is I wanted to calculate the bonus and I wanted the bonus to show inside the pivot table so that I can see how much will be the total amount that the company has to pay. The problem is bonus is not available, only the salary is available. That's when a calculated item comes in handy. What we do is we go inside the pivot table tools, options and locate the fields, items and sets under calculations. When you click on the arrow going down, you will see a calculated field. Let's call this item bonus and instead of it being equal to zero, we can give it a flat amount. For example, salary. So I double click on salary and then I say multiply by 10% or 0.1 so this would mean that bonus will be 10% of the salary I'll click OK and if you notice we now have a new field called bonus it's available in the list of fields it has automatically been added to the uh, values and we are now able to see 10% of salary as bonus so as understandable of the 363,000, 36,300 is the bonus. And this is a new computed item which is not available in the base data and yet we are able to work with it. Now the interesting thing is we can get rid of the salary and bonus will continue to be listed. Further, we can now play with bonus in different ways. For example, now I have brought in the gender. We look at this by, not by division, remove the position. And so we can see how will be the bonus for females and males, for people from admin department and from sales department. And all along, we are able to see, slice and dice the data in different ways from something which was not even available in our base data. That's the advantage of creating a computed or a calculated item. So if you don't want it, we can anytime get rid of it by clicking on the calculated field. Notice here that it always starts from the first, a new inserting a new calculated field. But if you want to edit one, you can click on the arrow going down we pick up bonus and it shows you the calculation. If you're done with it, you don't want it, we just click delete. And voila, there's no more bonus. So as you can see now, bonus is gone and I can bring back our own salary only now. One of the interesting things is that the formula that we use for the calculated item doesn't have to be a simple formula. It could be quite a long or complex formula and it will still work pretty effectively. For example, if we create bonus, but the condition would be that bonus will depend on the annual salary. If the salary is more than 20,000, so we can give a condition if salary, double click here, is greater than, is less than 20,000, then we will give a 10% bonus 
otherwise we will give a 5% bonus so we will calculate 10% or 5% and then we will multiply it by the salary itself so now bonus is if the salary less than 20,000 you will get a 10% bonus if the salary is more than 20,000 you will get a 5% bonus that's it click OK and now we have a bonus calculated which is if the salary is less than 20,000 so in this case you have a 10% and in this case you are getting only 5% as you can see here so this way we can see so in this way calculated items are extremely handy for doing simple calculations now one very simple way is to click on list formulas when you click on list formulas just once it will create a new sheet and here it will list that the field called bonus and this is the formula being used here so in this way if there are many formulas you don't have to go to each pivot table and then click on the options to figure out what's the formula here because the earlier method I showed you is a long method but by listing all the formulas in one place you can then make it easy and you can see all the calculations not one by one so remember this available under list formulas so now you open this file working with pivot tables and play with the calculated items find out where exactly is the fields items and sets under the options menu click on it and then find calculated field click once and create a calculated field let's say bonus or tax tax could be 8% of the total salary and then create another version called VAT value added tax which will be 15% if the salary is less than 20,000 and 20% 20 if the salary is more than 20,000. See if you can do it on your own. That's it for this video. All the best.